Hello and welcome to this short Canon R5 video called Touch, Focus and Fire. My name is Barry Beckham. For those who have been more used to using a digital SLR camera without touch screens, like me, this may be interesting. It's a pretty simple thing, but it's something that suits my style of photography very well, so I thought I would share it. I often find myself working from a tripod at dawn or dusk. And when I do that, using the LCD screen to view and frame up the shot is the option that I use. With the Canon R5 and the ability to flip out the LCD screen and rotate it, this becomes easier and so much more convenient. Because whether the camera is high up or low down on the tripod, we can turn the LCD screen to face us. Now this isn't a small advantage, especially as you get older and getting down low is sometimes a little bit difficult. Well, not so much to getting down, but getting up again. And of course, there's no need for a cable release. Now when I am shooting around dawn or dusk, another option I like to include is automatic exposure bracketing. I do this because it allows me to shoot quickly in the golden hour, which to be honest in some parts of the world is closer to 20 minutes. It speeds up the process for me and I can move around a location and grab a series of different viewpoints before the light changes and stops play. Automatic exposure bracketing ensures that I don't get home and kick myself later for not capturing the best exposure to edit from. So with my camera sitting on the tripod, I set up the shooting mode to a two second delay. Now we can get to that option on the R5 with the touch of the Q button on the back of the camera. I then go into the menu system of the R5 and you can see exactly where I'm located at the moment. I'm in what's called the Shoot 7 menu, number 7 of the first one, the red camera. The touch shutter, as you can see, is by default set to disable. All you need to do using the control wheel or the touch screen is to open that up and choose enable from the two options that are there. Once we've got that touch screen enabled, we're ready to go. Now we need to compose the scene that's in front of us. Once we're ready, you just tap the LCD screen where you want the lens to focus. The lens will snap into focus at that point that you've touched. And two seconds later, when our hands are well away from the tripod, it'll take your three bracketed images. How easy is that? especially if you sign all of these settings to a custom function. Now imagine a slightly different scenario where we're framing up on a group of flowers like these. By just touching the screen, I can focus on any of the flower heads I choose. Now if you're into audio visual, you may see some creative possibilities here. With much of our photography, I think the trick is to free ourselves of the technical stresses and burdens as much as we can. When we do that, the creative side of our brain has a bit more freedom to do what it does best. Now, custom functions are pretty easy to set up, but I do confess that until I purchased a Canon R5, I've never found the need for them in the past, but I have now. Setting them up is pretty easy. In relation to what we've been talking about here, we would first set the camera to the automatic exposure bracketing. We'd add the two second delay timer and set the touch screen to enable. You can also use your favorite exposure settings like aperture priority, shutter priority, etc and you can include your preferred focus settings too, such as the spot, or maybe you want to focus on a wider area. Once the camera has been set up, 
go to your menus, go to the setup menu. That's the one with the symbol of the little spanner. As you can see, it's the fifth menu of six. And what you want is the custom shooting mode. Then select register settings. Select the custom function you require, C1, C2 or C3, and hit the set button and you're done. To select the custom function modes, just touch the mode button on the top plate of the camera and turn the wheel that surrounds it. And you can jump between C1, C2 and C3 very quickly. There's only one task left to do to be able to put all of these practices into use, and that is to find yourself at the right place at the right time. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that notification bell, YouTube will inform you when I post the next video. But for now, I'll see you next time.